Right guys, so I'm back. Hey guys, the Crusader, and back into the Roblox scripting. And oh my god, I did something very stupid. So I just recorded two episodes. And we're as you see, nothing's changed whatsoever. Because I made a very like I recorded them in a row. And then I did a very stupid thing before I saved, which is I did a loop which without a wait. And what that does is literally overload, overflow loads of things repeating over and over again. And now I literally lost everything in Crash Studio. I'm telling you not to do that. I'll show you how not to do that next time. So let's repeat what I did in the past two episodes. Well, only one episode. So what we're going to do today's episode is literally set, make this little fire part that we made. Shoot like on, it will set on fire and it will also damage people. And that will be it. Actually, no. We'll also make a run script because that's what we did in that. But I don't know if I'll be able to do that that fast. But let's do it anyways. So, after this little thing we here, we're going to do uh, f equals instance dot new. Uh, open back pros bracket. And we're going to do fire. Now we're going to do local f because we're, I hate that little blue line under it. Local f equals instance dot new fire. And then we're going to do f dot size. Capital S equals uh, 10 and then f dot parent equals x there that should work sorry uh, oh not xp call sorry x there you go so now it's gonna let, now let me hit tab on each of these there you go oh sorry tab again oh this is oh, i'm sorry i'm screwing up here there now it's all online so now to insert and cut something called fire into X with a size of 10. So now that should be easy enough to understand. We're just making it. Fire is an instance made in Roblox that they made easy for us. It's a nice little game engine to work on. There you go. That's fire. They shoot. Nothing really to that side there. Now we're going to make it damage people, which is going to be very cool to do. Well, now we're going to insert a script into power. Script. There you go. So, what we're going to do here is I'll explain it in a second. Script dot parent. I know it's not going to make any sense yet. Touch dot touched. Sorry. Dot touched. Oh wait a second, guys. Sorry, guys. I have to pause the recording there. Now, where were we? Oh, dot touched. Okay. Uh, dot touched. Connect function. Call. Uh, open bracket function. And then inside this little bracket thing we have hit. So script.parent.touch, colon, connect, open bracket, function, open bracket, close bracket. And inside that little open bracket, close bracket, we're going to do hit. So, I'll explain this in a second. Basically, we might want to actually edit the power thing first. Sorry, guys, that was another interruption, but still, you probably didn't even notice it. So, all right, where were we? Oh, yeah. At the bottom here, we're going to make a new thing again. Other than uh, fire, we're going to do... Uh, s equals uh, script now these are the weird brackets things uh, which is right beside p and enter on the thing where you're going to do local as well local s and inside these we're going to do uh, script because then do script dot script because that just it ends as a nil value so we're just going to do script and then inside this is going to be script it's another way of getting uh, something inside it so it's hard to explain but that sh you sh it should be easy enough because you can't do script dot script it doesn't like recognize it as a thing so we have to put it in these these two brackets which is basically another way of looking at what's inside a thing it's uh, what's inside a instance so that should be oh yeah and after that we have to do colon clone because it's just going to copy what the script inside it and we're just going to do uh, s dot parent equals x. So this little pack that we're finding is going to have loads of things inside it. We're only getting started here. So let's go into the script. All right, there you go. Script dot parent dot touch connects. So now do you understand? This is going to be put inside uh, the x. So script dot parent is going to be the little ball that we made. So when that touched something, we're going to call what touched hit. Now. Let's get into the actual scripting. So, if hit dot parent find colon find first child co open bracket close bracket. Uh, did I do anything wrong? No, I didn't. Uh, humanoid 
and is not equal to nil. It is not equal to nil. Uh, shift hashtag and then equal to nil. There. I did something wrong. Oh, you have to put then there. Okay, so it hit the parent. So whatever it touches, it's gonna be part. A, so it's most likely gonna be like a, a part of a humanoid. So it's gonna be a part of a human. So or a Roblox character. So it's gonna be a leg or a torso or an arm. The parent is which would be the character's model itself. So whatever the part that it's gonna have a parent, which is gonna be like the character. Find first child humanoid basically to make sure that it has a humanoid so it's a living thing is not equal to nil, it's another way of saying true. Then, so basically, if it hits something that's living, it's a way of checking if it's living. Hit dot parent dot humanoid dot health equals hit dot parent dot humanoid. Oh, sorry, yeah, humanoid dot health minus 20. What this does is literally what it says it's getting the humanoid's health, humanoid uh, health, and then minusing it by 20. And we're just going to do script.parent remove. Ah, there. That's the simple part done. So basically, whenever it's touched by something, it's going to take 20, 20 like, uh, like the number 20 out of its health. Not 20%, it's just going to take 20 out of its health. And then it's also just going to remove the part so it doesn't keep on hitting off them and bouncing and stuff like that. So that should be done. So the way to test it, we're going to have to get a humanoid. And luckily enough, they make it easy for us. We go into toolbox and there's two right there. So I'm going to do the zombie because it actually attacks you. And we're not going to put it in the center. Actually, where is that? Yeah, that's right in the center. We don't want that. So, uh, just uh, Where is it? Oh, I should zoom in there. Let's just put it there and press get out toolbox. Open up output to see if we made any mistakes. Oh, what did I do here? Uh, should be right. No, not there. Come on. All right, let's just keep it there. I kind of broke output but still. And <laughs> I moved it into the wrong place. I think it was down in an older episode but still. So, yeah, this is going to be episode two. You know, I just recorded episode three but broke it. So, touch it. Okay. I forgot about that. All right, so let's disable this. Go into the script and just disable. That's because um, it's script.parent right now is the local script. So if we disable it, this all doesn't work. And now in this little power script, we're gonna enable it. The clone of it is gonna be enabled anyways when it's put into it. So first we're gonna do s.parent equals x, and now we're gonna do s.disabled equals false. Now, that'll fix everything, so it's not going to think that the parent is power, so the clone is going to have, uh, it's going to be enabled and put into the thing. That's hard to explain, sorry, I'm not good at this. And now let's press F. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> oh, come on, it should be touching off it. Alright, I genuinely think that the, um, <laughs> the pirate is... Oh, wait. I set it to true, didn't I? No, it says that stable equals false. Should work. That's not paint equals x. Let me just put that uh, here and get rid of the s dot parent thing. And also change 3 to 0. Because I don't want um, it to be that high up. So let's close output. There, I know that there's not going to be any problems now. But I still have to see if it will attack the zombie because it wasn't doing that, which is annoying. This should be damaging it, guys. I'm sorry. I'll check over it now. Uh, script dot parent dot touch connect function hit if hit dot parent find first child humanoid not equal to nil hit dot parent dot humanoid dot health equal to minus twenty. There's nothing wrong get there, guys. This is annoying me now. Oh, oh, look. Humanoid, there you go. That's gonna fix it. Oh, it was me typing too fast. I'm sorry, guys. That was completely. Mi if you dot humanoid right the first time, it would have worked for you. Sorry, I typed that wrong. So now the zombie's gonna come for us, and you are going to die. There you go. It's being damaged. There you go. 
that's that part of the tutorial done. Just coming up to 10 minutes now. Let's get the sprint script done. Because it's actually just simple enough. So we're going to go back into starter pack. Go into insert object. And then we're going to go local script. Exact same as last time. Player equals uh, equals game. Oop, game dot players dot local player. There. <coughs> and mouse equals player get mouse. Ah. Oh, nearly didn't make a mistake there. All right. Now we're going to make another function for uh, pressing key down, which is, uh, as you learned before, mouse dot, yeah, mouse dot key down colon connect function and key. That gets set. Uh, that's calling whatever we press key. Now we're going to do a shift sprint thing. And you can't just, we're going to do the first thing that we did last time. Key equals key lower. Oh, I didn't even explain that. Sorry. Key uh, key lower basically making sure that even if you're in caps lock, it's going to work. It's a way of fixing it. Now, if key colon B-Y-T-E key byte double equals 48, then. Basically, key bytes is a way of getting everything other than the letters on your keyboard. So, uh, key byte for shift is f uh, 48. Uh, Spacebar is 32. You can find a website with all of them on, uh, all of them on it. It's used for LUA programming usually. There's another ways of getting it by you. Like the key byte is the easiest one. So, key byte 48. 48 is for the shift key. So, if that's pressed, then player dot character dot humanoid dot walk speed. Uh, let's let's just. It, the normal walk speed is 16. We're going to set it at 48. Because why not? I just thought of 48 because it's a key byte thing. We're going to copy this. And hit enter twice. And then paste it. And we're going to change key down to key up. And change 48 to 16. Now let me explain this. This is how key holding happens. It has to have two functions. The pressing key and letting it up. And in between them is usually whatever happens in the uh, pressing key, which is setting up to 48. Where you set it up, it's 16. It's how key holding happens. So not just when you press it, if you hold shift, you're going to keep running. That's how I explained it. I hope you understood. I don't think I even did. Still, let's try this. So when we press shift, we should run. So um, let's kill the zombie first. There you go. And now for walking, this is 16. Now let's press shift. Are we going any faster? Let's see. I don't, I can't tell if I can't. We are actually, oh, we're not actually. Of course, it's a typo of all things. Like if it, it I could have explained if it was a problem that I made, but no, it's just a stupid typo that I made. There you go, now it should be fixed. Ugh. Like if it was a problem in the script, that I could actually explain. Then that would be good for the series. But no, it's just me being bad at typing fast. Alright, let's kill this thing. Oh, oh, oh. oh come on. There. Alright. Now let's press shift. There, we're definitely going faster there. I hope you're able to see that. So this is the normal walk speed. This is the fast one. As you see, we're running. And I'm holding it down now. And let go. Slow. Press it fast now that was 13 minutes i think i went over that very well so let's do a quick overview now we made a clone of the script that's in power and then put it into x and what this and now let's look at that script basically a script our parent would be x since we put it into it the touch connects so whenever it touches something we're calling it hit and now this is finding the humanoid that it touches and then it's gonna that now it's a way of fixing if it touches off a normal part that's not going to do anything. So if it finds humanoid inside that part, it's not going to do anything. Uh, health equals then minus twenty. It's taking away the health, and then we have to run script, which is key equals lower, which uh, getting the key or what that we press the user input. Key equals lower means that we're um, that it even if we're if we're in caps lock, it's going to work. Key byte equals forty eight is the is the key byte of forty eight is the key byte for shift. 
play the character uh, walk speed equals 48 and then key up is basically when we press it up it sets it back to the default 16. There, I think I went over everything very well. We made a nice little damaging power now and we made a shift script. Next, we're gonna go into making a start menu, which I, l let me explain it as this little drooling zombie free model that we got from Toolbox Works. Our character's gonna be right here. That's how the camera's gonna look. We're gonna have it right here. Our character's gonna be to the side. It's gonna, we can't move our camera whatsoever. It's gonna be locked and it's gonna have play and nothing else. We're not, not gonna have exit or anything or options we will have like something like learn or more but we're just for now we're gonna have play that's what we're doing in the next episode for cam camera scripting and the uh, gui scripting gui is a graphics user inter interface so that would be like the buttons that we may call play and then we're going to be scripting it that it sets us back and gives us our powers so that's all i need to talk about i don't think there's anything more Hope you enjoyed today's video, video guys. If you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like. If you want, I want to see what you guys want me to show you how to make next time. Next is going to be camera, and I'm going to look in the comments to see what you guys want next time. And that's going to be it. Bye.